Hey, happy Friday. Welcome back to the Friday Funnies. You know, today is August 2nd, and I'd like to know where summer went. It seems like a few weeks ago, Memorial Day kicked off the summer season, but now it's August, and the kids are going back to school. Before you know it, it'll be Election Day, and nobody is ready for that. Over in Paris, the Olympic Games continue with numerous medals being passed out. But since this is Paris, Olympic officials are also passing out other things to the athletes, like 200,000 condoms. They want the athletes to stay safe even though they sleep on collapsible cardboard beds. But 200,000 condoms in about 10,500 athletes works out to about 20 condoms each. And that is an Olympic feat. Perhaps it could be an official event, but it would only be the only one where speed was not an asset. And Elon Musk may be heading back to the boxing ring, this time against Venezuelan President Javier Maduro. These two don't like each other, and Maduro challenged Musk to fight it out. If Musk wins, Maduro has to resign as Venezuela's president. If Maduro wins, Musk said he'd give him a free ride to Mars. I hope this match is more exciting than Musk's last fight against Mark Zuckerberg, which never happened, even though it would have been on Facebook. Well, more stories even odder than these are to be found in this week's Friday Funnies. Japan has come up with yet another innovative vehicle, this time a motorized suitcase. You sit on the suitcase and drive it around like you would a scooter. It's popular all over Japan, but I think it's a dumb idea. Imagine that on your next trip to the airport, you have to get to your plane by bodging, dodging rather, suitcase riders. The concourse to the gate will become a huge luggage bumper cars, and that's very dangerous. And that's why Japan is cracking down on their use during the current tourist boom. I think really the only logical place a motorized suitcase would work is if, if you were homeless. So you can still get around town, but you'd have all your stuff with you. <coughs> this week's Dumbass of the Week winner is not so much a dumbass, but she appreciates where asses sit. That's why she has collected 163 bedpans. That's right, bedpans. Mary Jacobs is 77 years old and hails from Newmarket, England. And for some reason, she started collecting unique bedpans in 1984 and now has no more room for them. So she put them up for auction and surprise, surprise, nobody bought them. I think if she put a bedpan inside a rideable suitcase, she'd have the perfect solution for the traveler on the go who really has to go. Back to Paris for a moment where all of the attention is on the Olympic Games. But the City of Light recently opened the Musée de Fromage. That's Cheese Museum. Inside, you can view a cheese-making demonstration, participate in a cheese tasting, and learn the history of cheese. Now, I don't know how large this museum is, but I can't imagine it being a day-long outing. It's like see the cheese, taste the cheese, learn about cheese, but under no circumstances are you allowed to cut the cheese. There you go, my friends. Thanks. It's been another week. Thanks for joining me. Please pass these on to your friends. And uh, listen to my podcast, Another Day Above Ground. You do all that, I'll see you back here next Friday.